hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in previous video i will show you how to use pinbox control and how to set its basics property and how to create its events today in this video i will show you how to customize or redesign the pinbox control in our qt qml application so let's start so let's set the first of all background So let's set the first border color which is the basic property for all controls so pick up any one color let's select this one and set the border radius and border width so let's set the border width 5 and radius is uh, set 25 okay now let's run the application So you can see the uh, border is displaying but somehow the spin box uh, up and down button is not properly saved so let's start for it so let's first of all let's design the up button so you indicator rectangle So here we have to set the first implex width. So set the height and width is also 40. Also set the radius. So here we set the radius. Now here we have to set the x and y location. So here use my spin box mirrored. 0 and either here we use our parent dot width minus width and here set the some location properly so here we use minus uh, minus 5 points of our pixel and set the our spin box control in center for vertical center So this is a basic calculation to display any control in center position just you get a difference between two heights and divide by two and now let's set the color also so when a button is pressed so select the So when button is pressed so select this one color you can choose any one color as for your need and at the normal condition we select this this one color okay. now also set the border width and you can set the border color also So select the border color for like this one. Now let's run the application. So you can see the our control. But uh, let's design for its text property. Set the text property here. So text is. Now let's run the application. There you can see the plus text here. Now set the style sheet for it. First of all, set the font property. Set 20 and set the color. So let's simply select the black color for it. and also set the anchor and display in our center also set the font size mode and fit also set the alignment of horizontal alignment horizontal alignment 
text dot align center align as center and for the vertical alignment we use align v center okay now let's run the application and check it you can see the uh, text is properly fit in our up button now write the same logic for the uh, down button okay so Just simply copy this code and change here up to down. Yeah, just simply write the same logic also here in reverse the logic. Okay, now let's run this application and check it so you can see the both button is properly set and displayed in our uh, spin box control you can change the color as per your need now let's apply the style sheet for the over this text box control text input so let's here context item text input and let's set the first of our font property is 15 and font bold properties also set the true also set the some color property so for the text we use uh, let's select this one and when select selected color selection color when text is selected of our te input text at the selection time let's select the standard color and the selected text color so you can set the uh, white this one now set the horizontal element and also set the vertical alignment also set the validator so write the use the same validator of our spin box control and now let's run the application and check it Uh, here we have to set the text property also so set the text property of my spin box the text from value just simply use that value and use the local now uh, check the application so you can see the your Spin box control is look like a professional and a very adaptive design of your spin box control. So by this way you can easily customize or set the uh, style sheet property of your spin box control in QTQML application and you can also set the colors or hover effect or press effect of or push button or button control of your spin box control and also set the text input or a text box control style sheet in your in of your spin box control so please like this video and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to get the notification of new video and please drop your comment if you have any question and thanks for watching my video thank you